We could beam anybody in 4K volumetric resolution in under a second anywhere in the world. The way we meet is ever evolving. In person is great, but with distance and restrictions, it's not always an option. And after a few years of talking through our screens, Zoom fatigue is very real. But what if there were a middle ground? Proto is vying to be just that. So I'm gonna interview the CEO in LA without ever having to leave New York. David, are you there? Hello. I'm here. Hi. Yes, hi. Tell me, how, how is this working? How are you doing this right now? I'm beaming in from Los Angeles into a device that we have in New York right before you. And I'm beaming my 4K volumetric resolution, real-time hologram from 3,000 miles away so we can communicate. I'm standing in a seven foot tall, four and a half foot wide, two foot deep hollow portation machine. And the content that's being captured is being sent near latency free to you in real time, like I'm really there before you. It's so what we've all dreamed of since we watched Smart House as children, but I'm curious, how did you come up with the idea? I used to run a department of what used to be one of the world's largest hologram entertainment companies. And one of the things that we were known for doing was digitally resurrecting late legends to posthumously perform on stages all over the world. But it wasn't until I started beaming the living that made me think. I'm living on the West Coast and my parents who are both getting older, they live on the East Coast. I've got young children. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if they could just beam into each other's lives? And so the idea for Proto was formed. Talk to me about how you've differentiated your product over the years. Totally self-contained. You don't need any external projectors. You don't need any external monitors. You don't need any external cameras. The other thing is the lights are on in the room. How about that? Shadows never existed in hologram before because everything happened in darkness. And now with light, we can have shadows, we can have reflections, we can have depth and dimension. I'm able to beam from wherever I am. I could be in my home, I could be in my living room, I could be in my office. And we're using an iPhone these days as the camera source, right? So now a single iPhone and our free app can allow the person to be uh, captured and then materialized anywhere in the world. Let's talk a little bit about some of the barriers to entry here. How much are we talking cost-wise? And what would you say is the education level and familiarity with technology needed to, to use your product? The device itself, because it's completely self-contained, uh, doesn't take a very long time to learn. But the costs, you could rent them for as little as fifteen dollars or $25,000 per event. And we sell them for $65,000 and up. What is your plan for expansion and maybe increasing that accessibility a little bit so that, you know, mom in New Jersey can have this product in her house? Well, we just announced a miniature unit. We're calling it the Proto M. It is one fifth scale of the device that I'm standing in right now. So it's like a little uh, Wonka vision. Shadow vision. Uh, it's Wonka vision. What are the other use cases? Obviously, I can see you right now, but what other fun things can, can we see? This is a museum quality device. And why not project museum quality artwork inside? And then NFTs, they're being used in galleries right now all over the world. And as we continue to evolve the technology as a way to try on your clothes at a department store without actually having to wear them. It's a full size hologram mirror. It's my dream come true. And you've also talked about expansion into the music space. Tell me what that would look like. Sean Diddy Combs, we beamed him out of his home. We beamed Kane Brown during the iHeart Music Festival. But it's not just for musical artists or entertainers, it's for CEOs. What does the future look like? Holograms are gonna be commonplace and it's really incredible because, you know, there are things that you just can't see on a Zoom call or hear on a phone call. This is real. 
I think people should be able to walk around. I feel like people should be able to move and engage. It's just a much more interactive, engaging experience. So we're also gonna get a little bit smaller. We're gonna be in cars. We're gonna Ooh. be in the home. Uh, we're gonna be in the conference rooms. One of our devices is right now at the University of Central Florida, where professors and educators are using it to teach future healthcare providers how to treat and diagnose their patients through the proto window. My focus is on connecting people and evolving the company and making this thing as great as possible.